Hello, this is Brian with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution that Dave Lunny came up with for how to animate CSS gradients using only CSS and not other tools like JavaScript. Dave agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, which is, a, which is available as an article on his blog at the URL that I'm showing here. I'd encourage you to take a look through it in detail. I'm not going to go through it line by line, but I do want to cover the code and the elegant solution he came up with for how we can animate a CSS background gradient. So first off, if you take a look at a div with a gradient, which I have here, you can see that when I mouse over it, when I use the CSS hover, and we'll look at code in a second, even though I'm trying, as I'll show you, to animate it, it doesn't work. Really, it just flips back and forth between the two states. So if I look at what I've called index.html, in a quick example I copied from Dave's blog post, you'll see that on line 19, I have a div with class super cool background that should animate on hover. I put a little content in there, four paragraphs, I am a div, what you see here. And then I've styled it on line seven, just as Dave did, with a background of a linear gradient running from white to gray, and also a transition on line 11 that should run for 2.0 seconds. I've also added on line eight some padding and text align just to make it show up in the middle and a little bigger so I can easily see what's going on on this page. So I've also got on line 13 a hover state. So super cool background that should animate on hover. That class, when hovered over with the mouse, should change its linear gradient from white to gray to gray to white. And indeed it does. When I mouse over it, I get that. What's lacking though is the transition, the animation, the two second delay between the initial state and the hover state. That's on line 11, but it isn't working just as in fact, if you dig into Dave's article, you notice he quotes here, a little farther down, what you can read about if you dig into the article on W3Schools that the background-image property is not animatable. So that's the need for a solution. If you look at what I've called index.to.html, we've got a button which indeed has a CSS background gradient from white in this case to red. And if I mouse over it, you notice that not only does the gradient change as it did in the first example, but in fact, it changes over a period of time, right? It animates. So if I look at that example, notice the markup is very simple in line 40. And again, I'm copying from Dave's blog post. I've got a div with class button. Its contents are wow such hover. I've styled the button on line seven. An element of class button should get a linear gradient, among other things, linear, linear gradient running from white to red. And on hover, down a little bit farther, you notice that instead of actually changing the state of the button itself, we're actually changing the before. So let's dig into that a little bit. Dave's solution was to instead add a, a before statement there on line 21. Notice that its content is zero, is nothing, the empty string on line 24, but it's got a background image of linear gradient, which instead now runs from blue to white. The button itself on line nine has a linear gradient from white to red. On line 23, the button's before statement has a linear gradient running from blue to white. Notice also that we've got a Z index on line 30, excuse me, 19 of 100 for the button. And the before has a Z index on line 31 of negative 100. And notice importantly that there is a transition on line 32 
for the opacity of one second, a one second delay, an animation of one second. And that's the key here, that it is, in fact, the opacity that we're changing. So on line 34, the hover state doesn't control the button's actual background image of a linear gradient, but rather the opacity of the button before, so that when its opacity changes from zero, as you see it on line 29, to one, as you see it on line 34, opacity is amenable to, we can animate it, it is animatable, so that transition in line 32 works. So if I go back here, you can see that it works. And in fact, if I inspect the element and I force its element state to hover, you can see here what's happening, that the button before there on the right side, the opacity is one and, uh, and the hover state and a little lower down, that's overriding the opacity zero. So a nice elegant solution here to how we can use background gradients, right? The background image, linear gradient in CSS, and also animate it without having to resort to SVG or JavaScript or other sorts of tools. I'd encourage you to take a look through Dave's blog. Thanks again to him for the inspiration for this video. And if you want to dig in, you can uh, look through some other interesting articles that he's put out.